The opening match is terrific. Terry Taylor versus Mr. Perfect. A beautiful match. Absolutely. Very basic. Very you simple. You mean terrific Terry Taylor? I just said that, yes. <laughs> he comes out. He's billed as terrific Terry Taylor. Yes. He looks like a total baby face. There's no indication he's a bad guy. Right. And I and as soon as he got in the ring and they put terrific Terry Taylor, I thought, terrific. It's kind of weird. Like, you'd think that would be like a, a heel gimmick. Terrific Terry. But he's a fucking baby face. Well, all of a sudden they hit Mr. Perfect's music, and it turns out Mr. Perfect yes. is a babyface. So mm-hmm. now it's even more weird because the guy who's called Terrific is the heel, but the guy who's called Perfect is the babyface. <laughs> right. Some fucking fan held up a sign. I swear to God, it says, Mr. Perfect is perfect. <laughs> That's what their sign said. I was like, God, fuck me. <laughs> They, like, printed it out. It wasn't by hand. It was like they fucking got the the fancy fucking letters and put it all on the sign. Mr. Perfect is perfect. That's what the sign said. It's uh, it's all in the name. Do they have one saying, Bret Hart is Brett? <laughs> God. So Brett all heart. Very early, in this, very early in this match, Perfect is one very basic amateur waist lock takedown. He throws terrific Terry Taylor of the mat. And it's Vince McMahon being Vince on commentary. He just bellows, nice takedown, nicely executed. And I had a light bulb go off in Epiphany. I need to see Vince McMahon doing commentary for like a Jonathan Gresham match. Oh, God. <laughs> or a Zack Saber Jr. match. Get out of here. That'd be awesome. Dude, he should have called Raw Underground. <laughs> so Savage is cutting, he returns. He, he was. Absent when the match began, selling the the attack from Repo Man, he returns to the commentary desk, cuts a great promo on Repo Man. I'll give you credit, you hit pretty hard, but I've been hit harder than that, and I'm going to get my hands on you, and he gets interrupted. I'll give you credit, he says, but not that much credit. Yes. God, can you imagine we were watching those superstars with Repo Man, and how fucking horrible Repo Man was, and he's just squashing jobbers, and now we're watching Raw, and he's feeding with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. The Repo Man. The Repo Man. I don't think it's a long-term feud, as we'll get to by the end of the show. But I hope not. <laughs> so some people in the crowd are chanting, they want flair. Uh, there are anti-flair chants. There's a point. <laughs> Whatever Hebner this was, Earl or Dave, he had a very fast count. For all baby faces, all heels, every match he did. And even Vince in the end was like, this referee's counting very fast. But Perfect is like a headlock takeover and makes a cover. And Earl or Dave drops down and goes, one, two. And Taylor shoots his shoulder up and shouts, what are you doing? I laughed at that. So Bobby Heenan calls in. He gets a promo on Bartlett because Bartlett tore up a photo of him and doing whatever. So they go to commercial and they come back. Now, this is this is relevant to, to the wrestling of 2021 and the television matches that this company is producing in 2021. They're doing this match and it's a very, very fun match. And they go to commercial and this really happened yet. They come back and write after the commercial break. And the keyword there is after the commercial break, Taylor gets the heat. And all he does is pull Mr. Perfect by the trunks through the ropes of the floor. But it's not the deal where they, you get the heat and you go to commercial. Raw rolls on and they come back and the, and the uh, comeback starts and you miss the entire heat segment. No. You get to see like You feel like you watched the entire match even though there was a commercial break in the middle. Dude, not only that, but the finish of this match. Oh, wonderful. Rick Flair. Artwork. Rick Flair comes down to the ring, and tell me if this sounds familiar. He attempts to distract Mr. Perfect. Everybody listening to this has filled in the blank, but you're wrong. Yes. He attempts to distract Mr. Perfect, but Mr. Perfect is a babyface and not a loser. And so he does not get rolled up and pinned by terrific Terry Taylor. He grabs a fucking guy. He hits a perfect plex. He pins him in the middle of the ring. You're not giving this. Well, th- hold on. You could talk about the details, but this is just the, the the fact of the matter. He won the goddamn match via pinfall. Yeah. And then he ran after Ric Flair. That's true. But yes, what happened? Because yes, the distraction failed. So plan B for Flair was to get physically involved. He waited till the ref's back was turned. He lit into Mister Perfect. He's way that on with chops and forearms and elbows, just destroying him. And he goes to throw him back in. His work is done. He returns to the locker room. And, of course, Vince notes, ah, hit him and run away. That's just like Ric Flair. And Taylor grabs perfect for the suplex. It looks like yes. he's going to hit the move. 
And he even shouts, now! Like Perry says when he says, now you're going to see a perfect plex. And he grabs him the suplex. He's got him the, the, the head hooked. And he throws Perfect's arm over his head. And he's standing tall. And he goes down. And then he goes up as Perfect suplexing him. Because <laughs> he outsmarted Taylor as well. He pins him with his move. He gets the job done. That ref counts one, two, three. And Perfect lets go. And he charges to the back to beat Ric Flair's ass. Amazing. Dude, I watched the first 15 minutes of this. Up, up to this point in the show, I was watching this thinking, this fucking guy has lost his mind. Like, this is totally logical, good pro wrestling booking to build up a match, and now it's just a bunch of nonsensical horseshit. What the fuck happened? The other logical thing that happened is when Ric Flair snuck out to distract Mr. Perfect, his music didn't play. No. No, he was, in fact, he didn't tell the production truck, by the way... How I'm, can you make an entrance without your music I'm going playing? to ambush this guy. I don't want to know him coming up. Yes, this is fantastic to watch. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap. No matter how dangerous of a technician. You look more like a male anesthetician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Sabre, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.